Rumpskin here, and I'm super excited, man, because I'm over 9,000 subscribers. Yeah! It's over 9,000! <laughs> yeah, and I told you guys I was going to do something special when my subscribers were over 9,000! It's over 9,000! <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about Dragon Ball, and specifically the... Uh, live-action Dragon Ball movie, Dragon Ball Evolution, which I have gotten so many requests to fucking talk about. There are lots and lots of people telling me to fucking, dude, you gotta look at Dragon Ball Evolution. It's one of the worst movies ever made. And uh, I've done a lot of videos about the worst movies ever made. And there's a lot of people fucking suggesting that I check out Dragon Ball Evolution because they consider it one of the most terrible, awful films of all time. I'm not ready for this. You are the only one who can do it. And it is. It's really fucking bad. Because really, it's nothing like that Dragon Ball cartoon show. You know? I mean, it's not supposed to be like Dragon Ball Z, actually. I mean, Dragon Ball Evolution is supposed to be about Dragon Ball. The original show, where fucking Goku was a little kid. On Dragon Ball Z, he's like all grown up and, you know, he's more powerful. He can go Super Saiyan now and shit. Right, and probably more people are familiar with Dragon Ball Z. You know, the stuff where he fights Frieza, and uh, Cell, that green guy, and, and, and that pink guy, right? You know, yeah, apparently more people are familiar with Dragon Ball Z than the original Dragon Ball. But the uh, fact is that Dragon Ball Evolution doesn't really follow Dragon Ball. You know, it's really not very faithful to the source material. And it's one of the reasons that people consider it so bad. But, uh, I, mean, I mean, it's a bad movie by itself, even not even considering the fact of what it was fucking based on. We have to find the Dragon Balls before the eclipse. Let's go. We'll go, but we go together. Cool. I mean, but shit. <laughs> bad movie's a bad movie. Would it have been a better movie if it was, uh, mm, I don't know, closer to the source material? If it was more like the Dragon Ball cartoon show, you know? Because in that, Goku was a little kid. Like a little kid. With a tail. And a magic stick. <laughs> and a cloud that he could ride around on like a surfboard, right? <laughs> I mean, would the Dragon Ball Evolution have been better if he was actually a little kid? Rather than being played by a nearly 30-year-old actor? <laughs> I mean, he's supposed to be in fucking high school? I'm not, I'm not buying it, no. Now, it would have been better if he rode around on a cloud and shit like that. Huh? I don't know. But there was another live-action movie made in the 1990s, right? Yeah. It was actually produced in Taiwan. It was called Dragon Ball The Magic Begins. And, uh, yeah, it was a live-action Dragon Ball where they actually got a little kid to play fucking Goku, right? I mean, I mean his head doesn't look quite as crazy as, uh, Goku's hair looks like on the cartoon show, but they were trying. It's all spiky or something, right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jumping on trees and shit. Whoa. <laughs> it's fucking wacky. Whoa. Did you Goku just burrow in the ground? I didn't know we could do that. Oh, and that his fucking grandpa. He burrows underground after him and... Wow, what the fuck is going on here? Oh yeah, Goku has his magic fucking stick. You know that magic stick that can like extend? Right? Yeah, he's got that. And he's got that uh, magic cloud that he can ride around on. So, you know, it's pretty wacky, but it does seem to follow the source material, the cartoon show, right? Of course, I don't remember whenever Goku actually fought a fucking alligator. I don't remember that happening on the cartoon. But then again, I haven't seen all the episodes of the cartoon, so who knows? <laughs> I mean, in Dragon Ball Evolution, they had fucking Chow Young Fat playing Master Roshi, right? Well, I like fucking. Chow Young Fat, he's fucking cool, you know? 
He's been in some badass John Woo movies and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. He's badass, right? But he's no fucking Master Roshi. No, he's not fucking Master Roshi. This is Master Roshi. That's not what fucking Chow Young fit. But Master Roshi in uh, Dragon Ball The Magic Begins, well, they fucking nail it. <laughs> That's totally Master Roshi. He's even wearing like a turtle shell. <laughs> he's a, and he's a dirty old man. Really? When you see a pretty girl, you have evil thoughts, is that right? Yeah, that's correct! Yeah, hey, I mean, in the cartoon show, right? Like, uh, uh, one of the chicks, like, flashes Master Roshi, right? Uh, 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 well, that happens in the fucking live-action movie, though, right? <laughs> She's, like, flirting with Master Roshi, right? Getting all, them all hot and bothered, and then, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, shows him her tits, right? <laughs> and he's like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you sure need a strong heart. Well, this literally is like the cartoon come to life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 she's so sexy. Uh, but is it good? I don't know, it's fucking crazy. It's fucking nutty as shit, that's for fucking sure. I mean, yeah, it's completely fucking insane. It, it, it's actually pretty fucking good. You know, way better than that fucking Dragon Ball Evolution piece of shit. Which every decision they made to change it from the original fucking cartoon show made it worse. Made it lamer, right? But this one, it, it just goes with it. it, 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 it it's as crazy as the cartoon show. Possibly even crazier, right? Because the bad guy is like this, you know, blue guy with crazy horns and shit. And, and the fucking makeup is all weird on his face when he talks. You know, he's got a rubber face. It's weird, right? And, and of course, the usual plot, he's trying to get his hands on all the Dragon Balls, right? For ultimate power or something, right? All together, there are a total of seven Dragon Pearls. But, uh, but, but they don't call them Dragon Balls. They call them Dragon Pearls for some reason. <laughs> well, I like Dragon Pearl. How can he get what he wants, huh? <laughs> well, why, why do they call them Dragon Pearls? I mean, the name of the movie is Dragon Ball The Magic Begins. You know, it's right there in the fucking title. They call them Dragon Ball. But uh, they, they didn't call them Dragon Pearl throughout the movie. Just shut up. Westwood, you have a Dragon Pearl? The plot about the Dragon Balls is totally secondary. Total the wacky fucking stuff going on. So awesome. <laughs> it's such a wacky fucking movie, man. Oh, it's so goofy. Uh, hey, Master Roshi fucking steals the show. He's so fucking awesome, right? It's so wacky. You know? Um, and, and when these bad guys show up in a spaceship and start shooting up the place with lasers, right? Like, Master Roshi jumps into action and starts shooting lasers out of his hands. It's fucking crazy, right? <laughs> and then everything fucking blows up. <laughs> it's so fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so great, you know? It's way better than that stupid Dragon Ball Evolution movie. That thing fucking sucked, man. So bad. But the uh, Dragon Ball The Magic Begins is fucking great, you know? If you're in the mood for a real live-action Dragon Ball movie, check out Dragon Ball The Magic Begins. But there was actually another live-action Dragon Ball movie made after Dragon Ball The Magic Begins, you know? And it's actually closer to the source material. It's more like the original cartoon show, right? <laughs> And it's actually more insane, more, 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 more bizarre, and more, more, more crazy. But uh, we're going to talk about that next fucking time. Next time, we're going to talk about the other live-action Dragon Ball movie. Until then, fucking keep it real. It's over 
Must have magic in those shorts. 